Hi everyone, this is Stacy in Japan and I'm going to talk about ISID, uh, which means every situation is different. And this, this saying is as true as it is annoying when you have come into a foreign country and you are trying to understand how things work. Now everything is going to be different for every individual for the mere fact that we are individuals and we will respond to things differently. But in cases like, okay, like for instance, when I just came to Japan, I was working at elementary school and, you know, it was really a heavier caseload of work in terms of preparing lessons and executing lessons each day. You know, between four to six lessons were taught each day. And I would hear about my friends, you know, talking about how junior high school was like uh, three, four lessons. And what they would actually do sometimes did not constitute them doing anything. So I was like, hmm cool okay maybe next time next year which is this year I will try for junior high school uh, so I did and mind you it is totally different from elementary school in terms of the the workload and how much demand is actually placed on me you know sometimes I actually do very little in the classroom because in this position at junior high schools, I am actually assisting the Japanese teacher of English. Unlike in elementary school where I, I am in full control of the classes and the Japanese teachers are usually the, just there. So just thinking about, you know, other friends um, saying, oh, I don't have to teach the entire class and so on. There were many cases where I had to take the entire class, you know, and this is one of those cases where every situation is different because it depends on where you live. It depends on the teacher. It depends on the school. It depends on the board of education. And so even though you are trying to get an idea of how certain things may work, you know, based on the experiences of others, it never quite goes the same. Another case in point is the annual tax that we have to pay, what they call the resident tax. Um, so there have been so many varying prices that I've gotten from friends and, and others who have either paid like exorbitant amounts over 100,000 or smaller amounts, you know, like over 60,000. Personally, I got one that was like almost a hundred thousand and I'm like, why? You know, and everybody was saying, uh, maybe because you were driving last year or maybe because of where you lived. And so nobody really knows, you know, there's no real way to gauge how much you expect to pay for resident tax, you know, like an exact amount. You probably get a range like, oh, anywhere between 60 to $150,000, you know, so... Some things can kind of throw you off if you are really trying to plan and trying to organize yourself or trying to get to know about a particular situation. So you have to actually take this in, you know, careful thought when you come uh, based on experiences of your friends or other associates that you may have gotten because you may come to Japan and have a totally different experience and you will be like, but they said this and they said that and now I'm in this position. So, uh, you know, everything is different. Every situation is different and it will be treated as such and you can only hope for the best and be guided uh, by the experiences, as many experiences as possible um, of others. So think about this, come with an open mind when you're coming to Japan and while you may hear and indeed learn from some of the um, experiences of your friends and other associates, just know that things may not work out just how you intended them to or hope for them to. So this is Stacey in Japan, just sharing this brief experience with you. If you have any questions or if you have had a similar situation um, where you have experienced 
something different from what you thought you would, please let me know. Uh, just leave me a comment down below. Thank you. Bye.